This Mass is offered for the soul of Philip D'Souza, Frank Tauro, Philip Pinto, Valerian, Matilda B. and Mohan Ivan D'Souza, Lavina Morais, Maxi D'Souza, Baptist Matthias, Ronald and Eliza Fernandez, Ignatius Barboza, Veronica Dissa, and the departed souls of Khan family. In thanksgiving to St. Pius X for favors received. In thanksgiving to God for all the favors received and special intention. For successful completion of exams and for birthday blessings. Today, we thank God in a special way for the blessing and inauguration of our school and the visit of His Eminence, Cardinal Gracious, to our parish. Jesus is a good shepherd who goes in search of the sole lost sheep. Every good shepherd has an individual bond with each of their flock. They recognize each other's voice and share a loving relationship. As a child and in his adult years, Jesus' relationship with his parents was one of obedience and respect. His parents always trusted and had faith in whatever he did, even though often they would not understand the situation. God desires to enjoy a parental relationship with us, his children. As children of one loving and caring father, we are called to follow this example that Jesus set for us, one of love and mutual respect. During this Eucharist, we pray for a loving and caring relationship between parents and children all over the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this feast day, let us thank the Lord for loving us, for caring for each one of us. On this feast day of St. Pius X, our patron, we know the love that he had for the Eucharist and also the care that he had for his people. It was his love and care that brought the Eucharist more and more closer to the people where he lived. And therefore, my dear friends, let us praise and thank God for this beautiful gift that he has given to each one of us, the gift of Eucharist. For the times that we have failed and falter to have that love and care for the Eucharist and for the family members around, let us acknowledge all our sins and let us ask the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned 
in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and, and in my, my words, words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, 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 Mary Virgin, all the all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. by the Lord. safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, fill Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Let love be without any pretense. Avoid what is evil. Stick to what is good. In brotherly love, let your feelings of deep affection for one another Come to expression and regard others as more important than yourself. In the service of the Lord, work not half-heartedly, but with conscientiousness and an eager spirit. 
be joyful in hope persevere in hardship keep praying regularly share with any of god's holy people who are in need look for opportunities to be hospitable bless your persecutors never curse them bless them rejoice with others when they rejoice and be sad with those in sorrow give the same consideration to all others alike pay no regard to social standing but meet humble people on their own terms do not congratulate yourself on your own wisdom never pay back evil with evil but bear in mind the ideals that all regard with respect as much as is possible and to the utmost of your ability be at peace with everyone never try to get revenge leave that my dear friends to the retribution as scripture says vengeance is mine i will pay them back the lord promises and mo if your enemy is hungry give him something to eat if thirsty something to drink by this you will be heaping red hot coals on his head do not be mastered by evil but master evil with good the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god, god.
you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. The tax collectors and the sinners were all crowding round to listen to him, and the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them this parable, Which one of you with a hundred sheep, if he lost one, would fail to leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the missing one till he found it? And when he found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders? And then, when he got home, called together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, I have found my sheep that was lost. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner repenting than over ninety-nine upright people who have no need of repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, some of you might have heard of Mohit Agnihotri, who is an air rifle shooter and has won many gold medals for India. And Mohit says that all his gold medals are because of his father. His father used to work as a dairy farm and also at night he used to work as a security guard to fulfill Mohit's dream of becoming a professional air rifle shooter, his father Umesh had taken a loan. There were many people in the family as well as in the society who were not with the decision of the father and Mohit. They opposed him and also they tried to discourage Mohit from uh, pursuing this career in air rifle shooting. But his dad's love and his care for Mohit was much more stronger and greater than anything else. And it was this love and care that helped Mohit to become a professional air rifle shooter. And this love and care is what we have already heard, my dear friends, in the readings today. In the first reading, St. Paul talks about the marks of a true Christian. He lists out various virtues, various virtues that are required in a Christian. He talks about hope, about prayer, about hospitality. And these are the virtues that each and every Christian should have. He also tells that each one of us are given different gifts and we are to use these gifts. But the basic that we need is love and charity because love and charity is the one that will help us to go beyond ourselves to seek the good of others. In the Gospel from Gospel of Luke, we hear the parable of the lost sheep. This parable, my dear friends, and the following two parables are at the core, at the heart of the gospel message of all the four gospels. It talks about God's limitless mercy and forgiveness. And this limitless mercy and forgiveness is revealed to us through Jesus Christ. My dear friends, when we talk about God's limitless mercy and forgiveness, the source of this mercy and forgiveness is only one, a God who is loving and caring, our Trian God, who loved for us so much that they sent His only begotten Son to die for us so that we will be redeemed. In this parable of the lost sheep, we see how the shepherd goes in search of that one lost sheep who is not to be found. His love and care and concern for this sheep shows us all. It is a mere reflection of God's love for us. Jesus rightly said, God needs each and every one of us. He is merciful and forgiving to each one of us. And whenever we go astray, he makes it a point 
that he through various channels will bring us back to him because he loves and care for us jesus might have experienced this same love and care what he had received from his heavenly father from his earthly father as well that is saint joseph saint joseph my dear friends we don't know much about him through the gospels but how much we know very little through the gospels through some traditions through some culture and tradition that we have in our christianity we come to know how loving and caring he was joseph he was betrothed to mary and in those ancient times being betrothed would mean that they are married and they would remain with their own families for a period of one year so that they could prepare themselves for the new life which is going to be ahead in their marriage life and here he comes to know the mysterious circumstances of mary's pregnancy he could have easily walked away walked away from mary you know just left her but he didn't do that as soon as angel came and told him that it was god's will he said yes it takes a loving and a caring man to say this yes because of the circumstances that they were living in of what effects it would have had on his life as well but he did not think of that he only thought about mary and the newborn child who was to be coming in this world my dear friends when we read today's current wedding vows the spouses they say i will cling to my spouse in good times in bad times in richness in poor and in sickness and in health and i will always love and honor you for the rest of my life yes my dear friends we all all the married people over here present who are participating in this eucharist you all have said yes to each one of you all and it is because of the love and the care that you have you say yes to be with each other in no matter how difficult the circumstances of life may be so therefore saint joseph becomes a model for each one of us because he lived one of the greatest and a difficult problem that he had in his life and yet he loved mary and he loved jesus he loved them and he took care of them as we move ahead in the gospels we hear how joseph was warned by the angel to take mary and jesus to egypt to avoid the killing of the holy innocents joseph may have everything to lose in this journey in nazareth in nazareth or in judea he might have had his business his career all his contacts and when he went to egypt he might have lost everything other businessmen other people would have taken over his career but he didn't think twice about it his domestic love for jesus for mary prevailed over everything prevailed over his career prevailed over his business and therefore my dear friends joseph was a father and husband who gave priority and first choice to his vocation of domestic love and care pope francis in his apostolic letter patris cordi says that this domestic love is a vocation for each of them for each member in the family it is a vocation for the husband for the wife as well as for the children and joseph lived this vocation to its highest point it is true my dear friends in a culture like ours modern family nuclear families we try to do everything that is possible and that is beneficial for our kids for our children for our family we will try to see that all their needs as well as their wants are fulfilled and therefore we need to also check whether are we fulfilling our basic vocation of domestic love and care towards our children towards our family members perhaps 
lesser amenities, smaller house would permit some time for us to spend personally with our children, with our family. And Joseph points exactly the way for the parents, that is the vocation of domestic love is much more greater than the vocation of their career. And therefore, as parents, it is a duty to provide the love, the care, personally by spending time with each and every member of a family. In this time of pandemic, many of us will be going through various kinds of difficulties. My dear friends, we say the basic needs are food, clothing, shelter, and then there was health and education added to these basic needs. Today, in this pandemic time, I see that basic needs have increased. That is, love and care has become one of the most basic necessity in our lives. Once we love and care for each of our family members, for our children, for our parents, for our grandparents, then only we will be able to seek God's love, God's mercy and forgiveness. Saint Joseph, who is a loving human image of our Heavenly Father, plays a great role model for us. And therefore, in these troubled times, the role of husband, of wife, is absolutely essential and necessary to the society. Saint Joseph is a model and guide for all living this vocation, the vocation of love and care. He can accompany us, strengthen us to confront the perils that threaten the family life today. And let us therefore during this Eucharist ask for the intercession of Saint Joseph that we be loving and caring towards our children, towards the members of our family, immediate family, as well as to our extended Christian families. Let us rise and profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in God, God the Father the Almighty, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven, of heaven and, and earth, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, His Son, our Lord, our Lord, who was conceived, was conceived by, the by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under, under Pontius Pilate, 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 was crucified, Pilate, died, and, and was, was buried. buried. He descended, he descended into, into hell. On the, on the third day, he rose again, rose again from, from the, the dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, God the Father Almighty. From, from the there, day he will come to judge, to judge the, the living and the dead. And the dead. I, believe I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion the of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life, life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father knows each of his flock by name and therefore trusting in his word, let us now place our petitions before God and our Father. Our response is, Father, help us to be loving and caring. All together? Father, Father help, help us, us to, to be, be loving, loving and, and caring. caring. For Pope Francis and the clergy, that strengthened by the Holy Spirit, they continue to inspire the lives of their faithful, to understand the needs of the Church and work towards responding to those needs. We pray to the Lord, Father, Father help, help us, us to be, be loving, loving and, and caring. caring. For all parents and parents-to-be, that they understand that each child is a gift from God to be cherished and loved as they are earthly caregivers. We pray to the Lord, Father, Father help, help us, us to, to be, be loving, loving and, and caring. caring. For all children, especially those who have a difficult childhood due to various circumstances. May they find the holy family of Jesus, Mary and Joseph, an example and a source of inspiration. We pray to the Lord, 
Father, help us to be loving and caring. For those who have lost a family member and those families that are going through rough times, that they may find peace, grace and strength in Jesus to face their problems. We pray to the Lord, Father, Father help, help us, us to, to be, be loving, loving and, and caring. caring. For the orphans, widows, widowers, and all those living alone, that the presence of Jesus may bring them companionship through the care and concern of the community. We pray to the Lord, Father, Father help, help us, us to, to be, be loving, loving and, and caring. caring. Let us pray for our personal needs and the needs of the community. We pray to the Lord, Father, Father help, help us, us to be, to be loving, loving and, and caring. caring. Father, we thank you for the love you have showered upon us through our family members. Make all homes schools for learning Christian values. Grant that by the example of our lives, we may be effective witnesses of the gospel to those around us. We make this prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God for it. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, praise and glory of his, of his name, name, for our, for our good, good and the good, good of, of all his, his holy, holy church. church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence, and receive them in a spirit of faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up 
to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Pius X, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourselves, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts which we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith
as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Pius X, our patron, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim people, your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us say, Our Father, Our Father who art who in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not, not into, into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the for kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the, and the glory, glory are, are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, mercy Have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that, you that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof. roof. 
but only, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made conscious in faith and be of one accord in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Prayer for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic and be available to all. We pray for the doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they may be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Navena to Saint Pius X O Holy Father, Pius X saintly pastor, ascended to the glory of the saints. Hear the prayer which we lay at your feet. Obtain for us the true love of Jesus, so that we may live only in him. Grant us your great devotion to the Virgin Mary. Deliver us from every evil of soul and body, and obtain that the Church and all Christianity may, as you so ardently desired, sing the hymn of victory and peace. Amen. St. Pius X, pray for us. How happy I am to see our brother Denville, Deacon Denville, today offer this Mass for us, the third day of the Triduum in preparation for the Feast of St. Pius. He's grown, if, you, if, if I see what he's done now, he's grown just in the last few months that he's away from us. 
He is at Our Lady of Lourdes Church, Kalyan West. And I'm so glad that he was able to be present with us today, offer the Eucharist for us and preach to us. I wish Father Denville all the very best in his priesthood as he moves along. This morning we had His Eminence with us for the inauguration of the St. Pius X International School and also the blessing of the Golden Jubilee Memorial of St. Pius High School. Tomorrow morning we have the Feast Mass at 8 o'clock online celebrated by His Eminence. And of course, in the evening, you await the great fiesta at 7 o'clock in the evening. Of course, all this online. As we get into the festive mood from tonight, let's already start wishing each other a very, very happy feast. And we will make up for this not being together sooner than later. We are hoping that the churches will open soon, now that most of the things are open, and we will have some kind of a celebration whenever we meet physically and soon. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Our response will be Amen. May God, the glory and the joy of saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Free to their intercession from present ills, and formed by the example of the holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland, where the Holy Church rejoices, that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go for the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God.